Cyclone Batsira made a tremendous landfall in Madagascar just now as the Category 3 major cyclone are now devastating the coastal regions right now after Anna, which passed by multiple days ago. It's currently at 20.8 degrees south and 49.4 degrees east. The latest bulletin from Meteo France shows the storm at 115 miles an hour and a pressure of 945 millibars, moving 12 miles per hour to the west southwest, and we have lowered the CDPS to a stage 7, yet still catastrophic damage is to be expected nonetheless at whatever stage it is. The parameters look like this, wind speeds still remaining rather strong, again category 3 sustained winds are to be felt in that area and loads of rain up to 500 or 600 millimeters is forecasted, putting this at more towards major. The overall threat to land adds up to what we have and it's again a stage 7 in which catastrophic damage will be occurring right now. Current wind fields look like this, stretching out 140 nautical miles to the northeast, 180 to the southeast, 150 to the southwest, and 95 to the northwest. Red to yellow cyclone alerts or well, warnings are still in effect, but the storm is 144 kilometers from Abo Sitra, 145 from Anacara, 165 from Via Naranzoa, 250 from Antananarivo, and 572 from Toliara on the western side of Madagascar. Here's the current wind estimates with both Mateo France and the JTWC agreeing on 115 miles an hour. The ADT estimate however pushing a little further to a more or less high end category 3 with 125 miles an hour. Here's what Mateo France's latest cone shows uh, making landfalls a category 3 and really die down as it crosses through the terrain of Madagascar. Afterwards re-emerging in the Mozambique channel becoming what seems to be a moderate tropical storm until it becomes extra tropical towards the end of that forecast. Sea surface temperatures during, around the storms were favorable to sustain its current strength upon landfall, but of course that isn't doing much now, but it had been getting created by 28 to some 29 degrees Celsius water before slamming the coast. Moving on to the HWRF model runs, they were also predicting a category 3 landfall, which it did indeed come true. And the rain swath, as mentioned before, very high rain totals it can be pouring there as we speak right now. Here's what the RAM model comparison has to say, all the models being rather consistent with the intensity. But the GFS really has been the most conservative one really, barely touching category 2 strength as you can see there. Shear has been decent, going on on the initial decrease which will skyrocket afterwards though, currently as low as it can get here. And the general consensus of the tracks, taking it through Madagascar obviously, HWRF thinking it could be a lot further west and relative humidity remaining rather high. Here's the satellite imagery as you can see touching the coast right as we speak. Uh, it has been rather organized now but as you can see there in the uh, rather later frames it has been slowly disintegrating, closing down the eye a little, it will, it will probably be collapsing as you can see 